Hello again. Thank you for tuning in. Um, this is my second game that I'm putting on YouTube, and in this game we both picked random, and we both happen to be Zerg. Um, first of all, let's just go over the starting game and see who's building faster, basically. Oh, looks like I'm building my first drone a little bit faster. Alrighty. Yep. Okay, he's built his second drone, and oh, my second drone is almost done already. This might not seem like much, but if you're both rushing, then it's pretty crucial. The speed at which you create your harvesters and start building those zerglings. Alright, so I'm just kind of auto-assigning my producers to go to that middle mineral field. Looks like his drone is coming to scout me already. Which I really wouldn't do in a random versus random because then you know pretty much that they know who you are. Um, right now both of us have the element of surprise in terms of race. But oh well, that's a interesting strategy. I mean if he was Terran or Protoss I could see him coming in starting a, uh, a base there or something. A little a pylon and then some uh, cannons. but. Nope. Anyways, built my uh, spawning pool and my evolution chamber. Looks like I just built his uh, second hatchery. His uh, spawning pool is being built in the back. He's going to spawn bar, getting ready for uh, a rush there. He has four zerglings. Uh, I have two. Building some drone and a another overlord there. I'm trying to go for an early expo, um, which in this game is, is not a good idea. Right, here comes the Zerglings. Oh, they see the expo, they go for the hatchery. Now, this is really important here. Before my hatchery dies, I cancel the production. And this basically gives me a lot of minerals back. Uh, otherwise, I would pretty much lose this game, having lost all those minerals. I would Alright, in this battle, I'm going to do this here because I'm going to do this. Um, Queens do a lot of damage. Alright, so he has a spine claw, two hatcheries, and he's building zerglings. Alright, my queen. I haven't built any upgrades yet, but I'm going for the Vespin gas. Alright, I was just going to pick out the kills, but it looks like they've got pretty well defended. Go for the gun. Looks like he's going to counter with all of the zerglings. I have a few zerglings of my own, not as many as he does. Um. Alright. Not much I can do at this point, so just keep them there as long as possible. Build my forces up. I think I was a little bit indecisive here uh, what my queen should do, but one love is always a good choice. And I would say it's better than building two hatcheries off the of top. So right now the game is pretty uncertain. Nobody knows who's, who's really going to win. Um, I decided to uh, build my second tree here just to start producing some more units. I already have a queen with a lot of uh, energy. All right. I'm going to build more uh, zerglings here. Get my defenses up. Let's see what they're doing. Yep. Pretty much all goings are going over there. I'm going to expand the creep just so my zerglings can work faster. Um, at this point, I do have a bit more zerglings than he does. And I'm going to speed this up. Uh, Alright, so he uh, discovered my zerglings that were at those watchtowers there. Speed up, uh. There 
Alright, so he's upgrading his hatchery now. At this point I have way more zerglings than he does. He, I don't know that though. I don't know that he doesn't have air. But luckily he didn't. I've been researching my upgrades for my zerglings, the speed and the attack boost. Something he can't do because he didn't build the evolution chamber. <coughs> At this point, I have a fair amount of zerglings. Um, they're almost upgraded. I'm gonna start attacking right before they're upgraded. So I'm gonna kill a few more zerglings here. Don't have the upgrade yet for damage, but I do have the speed upgrade. My zerglings. Hatchery. I'm going all out with all my zerglings. Effectively increasing their damage by 20% from 5 to 6. Alrighty. Go around. Reducer. Thanks for watching.